Welcome to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I greatly appreciate your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey, please consider hitting that subscribe button with a notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today we're going to be going over the McCallan Edition 1. This is a sample that was sent to me from Matt. Matt is a super cool guy, a very generous man. He also has a YouTube whiskey review channel called The Whiskey Dude. If you want, you can check him out at The Whiskey Dude. And thank you so much once again, Matt, for the very generous sample of the McAllen Edition 1. The McAllen Edition 1 is a Highland single malt scotch whiskey. It is the first of the McAllen limited edition series that was released in 2015. This whiskey is distilled and bottled by the McAllen Distillery in which master distiller Bob Delagarno uses eight European and American cast styles in the maturation process. Seven of the eight casks are sherry, seven of the eight casks are European, and there's one American cask. This is a non-age stated whiskey that is 100% malted barley, 48% ABV, 96 proof. The original MSRP on this whiskey was around 75 to 100 bucks. Now you're lucky to be able to find it for around $1,000. So there's a big price difference from when it first came out and what you can actually find the bottle for now. Let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. All right, on the color. The color on this whiskey is a nice amber color. Nice amber. It's, it's, it's not super dark, but then again, it's not really, really light either. Um, the viscosity on it, as you can see, it is coating the glass very well it is super viscous it's sticking to the glass very well nice thick legs on the whiskey nice viscosity let's get into the nose start on the nose all right right away on the nose you get a nice oak note a nice a very nice oak note with a little bit of a malty sense not a huge malty sense but it's definitely got a little malt to the nose then there's sherry, a nice, nice sherry note with some fruits. I would say maybe there's a little bit of a melon note right there. But definitely like a raisin and date note. The oak and sherry is very pronounced. And maybe even a little bit of a spicy note there, maybe a little pepper. Once again, on the nose, it's mostly oak, sherry, and fruits. There's even a little bit of a melon note there. Very nice nose on the whiskey. It's not um, it, it, jumping completely out of the glass, but the, the, the nosing on this is very pronounced and bold. You are kind of having to search for some of the, the, the aromas it, I think due in part to the fact it, it is a little complex. Like this time I'm getting some melons, uh, uh, some like some fruitiness to it. It's definitely changing in the glass. And the sherry note on this is um, very nice. It's got a very nice sherry note, a well-rounded sherry oak note. And when I'm saying oak note, the oak note is definitely present. Once again, it is not overbearing. It is a well-rounded, nice, soft oak note. One more time on the nose, you're getting a nice, well-rounded oak note. Some nice fruitiness characteristics, even a melon. And you're also getting some darker fruits like some dates and figs with a little bit of a, a, a spiciness, maybe a pepper note. Um, very, very nice nose on this whiskey. Let's get into the taste. All right, on the taste, cheers. All right, first thing I wanna say is, very viscous, very mouth coating. The finish is still going. I'm leaning towards the long side on the finish. On the, on the front of the palate, I'm gonna say all the way through to the front of the palate into the finish, it has a very well-rounded and soft 
oak note that is not overbearing at all. And on the on the interest, it's it's sweetness with fruits and honeys and melons. Mid palate is a nice orange zest and sherry notes on the finish, with maybe finishing off like a with a dark chocolate note and oak on on the finish of the first sip. Very nice first sip. Let's go in for another one. Cheers. Very nice. Very viscous, very mouth coating. Mmm, that is good. It's that chocolate, the dark chocolate notes really coming through. The citrus zest is still mid palate. Entry's a little sweet, but dulled down a little bit with the oak note. The oak note seems to be going all the way through the front of the palate to the finish, but it's not overbearing. And the finish is dark chocolate, sherry, raisins, dates. Very nice, nice finish on the whiskey. Still very viscous. As you can see, I've been sipping, and I don't know if you can see that or not. It is coating the glass very well. It's a, it's a very nice mouthfeel. Um, it's, it's soft, it's velvety, it's creamy. Second sip did dry out a little bit, but not not too not too much at all. Very nice second sip. Let's go in for a third. Cheers. Very nice. Very very nice. Once again. A little bit of a melon note on the on the entry. The oak note is still consistent through the front of the palate to the finish. Mid palate, a nice orange zest, but on the finish is where this whiskey really plays its role for me. You're getting dark chocolates, raisins, dates, and a nice soft oak note that is just lingering that is very nice. It's not tannic and bitter by no means. It's just a well-rounded soft oak note with a dark chocolate, your dark fruits like your raisins and dates. Very, very nice third sip. All right guys, my final thoughts on the McAllen Edition 1. I think it is an outstanding pour. Really enjoyed it. Now, I do think that the price that this was originally released at MSRP 75 to $100 is probably about where this whiskey should be at. I did have done some research, $1,000 is about the going rate for this bottle, but I have seen it up to around $2,500 to $3,000 for this bottle. Do I recommend going out and purchasing this bottle for $1,000 plus? Absolutely not. If you're a collector, I get it, I understand. But in saying that, I did see where you can get the full collection of these whiskeys in a couple different places, one through five, for about 2500 bucks. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, I greatly appreciate your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys. Cheers.